Hello guys, I will discuss Deployer package. So let's get get started. These are function like select, filter, mutate is available in Deployer package by which you can do uh, data exploration and data manipulation. Uh, so suppose uh, uh, you are the professor in the college and uh, you taking uh, internal assessment if you ever go in the college you know about what is internal assessment and you teach two subject economics and statistics and you take two tests on the same day for economics also for statistics also after two three days uh, you checked all the papers answer sheet and you make a list of uh, a student and uh, their marks so uh, this is the subset of data uh, this is the subset of whole data and if you want to know the working principle of any function first uh, test on the small data set and if uh, the working principle remains the same in in the bigger data set also like you have a suppose you have a terabyte of data one terabyte two terabyte of data working principle of any functions remains the same you can use visualize it very easy so uh, suppose uh, you want to know the average marks of the student uh, how much in a general way student uh, uh, get marks in by the your by in your class for that uh, you have to select a marks column because and for doing that we have a select select function available in the deep layer by which you can select any column or variable uh, you can select any uh, student column subject column marks column in this data set there are three columns only that's why you can select three columns suppose you have a very big data set and you have to uh, for selecting any column you have a select method so this is the syntax uh, first uh, you can write by the use of pipe operator also uh, I discussed the syntax first uh, you give the data frame as a argument then you give the column uh, which you want to select so in this uh, slide you want to select the marks marks column that's why I am writing a marks if you run this what happened it select the marks column and it returned to you as a table or a data frame I hope you understand now suppose you want to uh, filter based on the value you you can also do do that by the use of filter function suppose you want Raman's marks only for that you have a filter function I discussed the syntax so as usual uh, th this is a data frame uh, you first you give a data frame as a argument then you give the variable name so I want a value Raman that's why I am writing a Raman value inside the student column that's why I am writing a student column this is the actually a conditional statement if you run this what happened it select this and return as a table now suppose you want to add a new column on the data set for for adding a new column you can add this by the use of mutate function mutate is for the mutation so i discussed the syntax this is the data frame as usual you give as a argument first argument then you give a variable name new variable name which you want to create so i am creating a gender uh, variable and uh, this Raman, Amit, Karan, these are all are male. That's why I'm just referring to the M also. When you run this, what happened? It will create a new variable called as a gender. Okay. Now suppose you want to know the, you just for fun, you want to arrange in a descending order of the marks value. For that, you, you have a arrange method. 
arrange is for ascending or descending for things i discussed the syntax so this is the first you give data frame as a argument then you give the descend, descending function on the marks column so second argument is the the variable name which you want to descending when you run this what happened uh, descending so what is the greatest number in marks 71 so 71 comes in the top then what is the second uh, uh, 65 so now 65 comes in the second place similarly you, you can visualize for the remaining part now suppose you want to see the category of any variable or column for that we have a distance function to see the categorical variable i discussed the syntax first you give the data frame as a argument then you give the variable name which you want to see as a factor if you run this uh, there are two subject only only two category statistics and economics when you run these functions what happened it shows you the two category statistics and economics so suppose you have a very big data set like you have a two three terabyte of data in which you have 23 or 25 variable and you if you want to know the category and you analyze column by column line by line you explore the data by the scrolling scrolling the mouse wheel then it takes lots of time okay so instead of this what you can do you can just write a simple simple one line function by which you you get a very quick answer for this scenario i hope you understand now i will show you in r i opened the r studio first i activate the tidyverse library so this is activated now i am creating a data so as you can see that data is created now i run the select method and i compute the mean so uh, this gives error uh, it gives that it is not numeric or logical so it accept it uh, accept a, a vector so what i am doing now i am converting table into a vector then i compute i write mean functions now you can see that uh, mean is calculated of the marks marks column similarly you can select student column so this is the student column as you can see so this is the student student column i also select the subject column you can also apply other any other functions like i want to know the length of the string of the subject value then i run this as you can see that in the below the length of string is there now i am do filter method by the use of filter method you can filter by based on the value in the data frame i run this so as you can see that you got raman's value raman's marks and what what his subject now i am using a mutate method mutate is for changing or mutation so i am creating a variable so as you can see for that i am using a new variable new data if i run this as you can see that new var new variable or column is uh, generated gender okay now i am using a arrange method arrange method uh, i discussed this function in the slide you can see that when i run this function what happened uh, it is arranged in a descending order as you can see that in the below 71 65 64 55 52 50 okay i can also see the category of any variable or column by the use of distance functions i run this function as you can see that there are two category uh, statistics and economics as you can see in the below 
आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग फंक्शंस लाइक ग्रुप बाय फंक्शन आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फोर बाय फोर नाउ